let us discuss this example. In this example, we have to solve the double integration, but by changing the order of integration. That means if the given strip is parallel to x axis, we should rotate it and we should consider a strip parallel to y axis. And if the original strip is parallel to y axis, we rotate it and we make a strip parallel to x axis. Or in other words, we can say in a given integral, we have inner integration with respect to x, outer integration with respect to y. We have to change the order and the inner integration should be with respect to y and outer integration should be with respect to x. Let us see how we can do it. So I have written the given integral. As you can see, inner integration with respect to x. So that and this is a function of y. So I should write x is equal to here, x is equal to. So obviously these are limits of y, y is equal to, y is equal to. So let us find the region of integration first. So let me mention given region is bounded by given region is bounded by we have first y is equal to zero. So you are familiar with that. This is equation of x axis. So let me mention this is x axis getting y is equal to zero. Next is y is equal to nine. So y is equal to nine. It is a line which is parallel to x axis and passes through y is equal to nine. A line parallel to x axis. Okay, let me show that line here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is a line which is parallel to x axis and passes through y is equal to 9. So this line we have got y is equal to 9. See, next one is x is equal to root y. Let me mention here. Okay, we have a space. Let us use it. So y is equal, x is equal to what we have root y. So to remove square root, I will take square of both sides. So that is x square is equal to y. Power of x is 2, power of y is 1. That means it represents a parabola, which is symmetric about x, y axis since power of y is 1. And it opens in the direction of positive y axis since y has a plus sign. So let me mention a parabola parabola symmetric about positive y axis positive y axis let me draw the rough sketch of that parabola okay which is symmetric about positive y axis so this is a rough sketch of parabola we have a parabola like this okay so i drawn the parabola here okay let me mention here y is equal to x square so this parabola cuts this line at two distinct points, this one and this one. Let us find a point of intersection. Technique is very simple. We put one equation in second. If I put y is equal to 9 here, so we will have x square is equal to 9. That means x is equal to plus minus 3. Getting So here we will have plus 3. Here we will have minus 3. So this point will be 3 comma 9 and this point will be minus 3 comma 9. Right? Let us consider the next curve, which is x is equal to 3. So x is equal to 3. It is a line parallel to y axis. Okay, this is a line parallel to y axis. Let me draw that line x is equal to 3. So it pa passes through x is equal to 3 and which is parallel to y axis. See at this point also x coordinate is 3 getting x coordinate is 3. So that's why our line passes through this point also. So now it is easy to draw a line which passes through this point as well as x is equal to 3. So I have drawn the rough sketch here. Okay, let me draw it properly. Uh, see, I'm drawing the line again. See, we have a line like this. Okay, so x is equal to 3. So our region is bounded by x is equal to 3, y is equal to 0, this parabola and this line. So 101% this is the region of integration. Let me show it here. So this is our region of integration. Okay. So let me show it. Okay. So this is our region of integration. See, after that, we will find the original strip. Okay. So as you can see here, the inner integration in a given problem, inner integration with respect to x. So that's why the original strip is parallel to x axis. But we have to change the order of integration. So that's why we should consider strip parallel to y axis and we have to solve the problem. So to change the order of integration, I'm considering a strip parallel to y axis. Okay. So yes, there is no more space to write. 
make a screenshot of it after that we will go further so i have mentioned those things there okay so now our strip is parallel to y axis so that's why we should write y varies from and then we write x varies from our funda is very simple bounded below bounded above left to right strip is bounded below by x axis whose equation is y is equal to 0 i should write y is equal to 0 strip is bounded above by a part of parabola whose equation is y is equal to x square so i should write y is equal to x square to cover each and every point of a region of integration we should move strip from left to right so it should start at 0 0 to cover every point of integration a uh, region of integration so that's why our value of x is 0 since at origin we you know that we have 0 0 strip will move like this and it will go up to this line where the value of x is 3 so in this way we got new limits of integration okay so let us write so therefore i is equal to integration 0 to 3 and 0 to x square what is what is a function we have sine pi x cube and now we have dy dx since our strip is parallel to y axis in original integral we had dx dy but now we have dy dx that means we have changed the order of integration let us integrate now see let me write here so this is equal to integration 0 to 3 First of all, we are integrating with respect to y. So x and all functions of x will be constant for that integral. So this is a function of x. So we can take it outside. So sine pi x cube pi x cube and integration of dy. Integration of dy is y. So that's why we can write here y with limits 0 to x square dx. Okay, 0 to x square dx. First, we put upper limit. After that, we put lower limit. If you put upper limit here, you will have x square only and the lower limit is 0. So that's why we will have simply x square. So let me write it directly integration 0 to 3 x square sine pi x cube dx. See, there is no more space to write. Make a screenshot of it. After that, we will go further. So I have written the integral there. OK, so let us solve it now. So you cannot solve this integration directly. Actually, there is a product of two functions as well as there is an angle which is pi x cube so it is complicated so we need to substitute something to make it more easy so let me write here putting i am going to put this angle pi x cube is equal to t so when you do any substitution you have to take derivative as well as we have to change the limits let us find derivative first derivative of x cube is 3 x square so therefore 3 pi x square pi is a constant getting derivative of t is 1 I should write dt here, dx here, right? And this is equal to derivative of t is 1. So we'll have dt only. So therefore, what can we write? x square dx is equal to dt by 3 pi. I shifted that constant 3 pi on this side. So therefore, x square and dx, we can replace it by dt by 3 pi. Let us find new limits for x is equal to 0 we have and x is equal to 3 we have let us find new limits t is equal to t is equal to if i put x is equal to 0 obviously the value of t also 0 but if i put x is equal to 3 3 cube which is 27 so that means new value of t is 27 pi okay so therefore i is equal to new limits we have 0 to 27 pi right and uh, sine sine pi x cube which is equal to t and x square dx we can replace it by dt by 3 pi see 1 upon 3 pi is constant we can take it outside so let me do that 1 upon 3 pi and integration of sine is minus cos t 0 to 27 pi let us solve it here so this is equal to that minus sign is a constant we can take it outside minus 1 upon 3 pi i will put upper limit first 27 pi let me write cos 27 pi minus lower limit cos 0 right so let me uh, tell you cos n pi is minus 1 raised to n and cos 0 is equal to 1 let us use these values so this is equal to minus 1 upon 3 pi cos 27 pi is minus 1 raised to 27 cos 0 is 1 which is equal to minus 1 upon 3 pi minus 1 raise to odd number so that's why we will have the value minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 we will have minus 2 getting 
and minus 2 into this minus 1 this is 2 upon 3 pi so this is required answer okay so what is value of double integration 2 upon 3 pi we got its value by changing the order of integration make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye